my dear friends welcome back to my youtube channel so our today's video is on australia university's dte interview which is mainly conducted in victoria university this is the level one university and it has two campus one in melbourne and second one in sydney i have also applied for this university in sydney campus and i recently got my gte interview and the amazing thing is that i got approval within 24 hours after i completed my interview so that's why i want to discuss those 10 questions with you with answers the of my course like bachelor of business major in information system management so you will also do well in your interview so first of all you have to read your sop very very carefully nothing is out of from your sop like they ask you by the way normal questions so those all questions is already written in your sop so the main 10 questions i want to discuss is here the number one is mainly your name what is your full name and uh, please show your passport and your date date of birth and the second one question is what is your marital status if you are single so normally say i am single but if you are married then you have to explain what your spouse do when you will go there for study so they ask you this question and number third question is have you ever had any re visa rejection if you have then which country it was and why it was rejected so you have to explain if you have but if you do not have any visa rejection like me so you can simply say no the number four question is that why do you want to study in australia the major question so the answer is that there are numerous reasons which attract me to study in australia but here i want to discuss main three points number one Australia graduates have world's highest employability rate. Number two, program offered in Australia are practical because they are integrated conceptually and providing comprehensive package for any student. And number third, it is sound and stable country for international students to study. And number fifth question is that why do you want to study in Victoria University, Sydney? so i answer like that before taking any decision i conducted extensive research on many universities when i looked to victoria university i discovered that it focuses on offering variety of valuable skills including reflective thinking strategic planning mentorship principles businesses and technical knowledge moreover during my research i discovered that victoria university provides the program of my choice additionally the new teaching model at victoria university is very innovative and successful number six question is that please just state the name of your course and why do you want to choose this course so as i have bachelor of business major in information system management course so i explain like this the full name of my course is bachelor of business major in information system management and the prominent reason i opt this course is modern technological developments are dramatically altering every area of human life information technology is actually attached with our daily activities and operations at large global organizations moreover this is the course which perfectly fit on my study history as i have studies foundation it as an additional subject in my secondary school number seven question is that do you have any work experience if you have then please explain what it was and what is is and uh, as i am a student of bachelor so i do not have any kind of uh, work experience but if you are going to master degree some students have experience so you have to explain what uh, experience you have or whatever work you are doing you have to explain very clearly so they will understand what you are trying to say but as in my case i do not have so i simply say no the number eight question is do you have any friend or family in australia if you have family and what visa they are on in my case i do not have any friend or family so i simply say no but in your case if you have any friend or family if you are able to explain in a very well manner so 
you can say that yes i have but if you like feel hesitate how to explain it so you can also simply say no there is no problem like in your sop there is no nothing question like that so it will not affect your answers and not your interview performance the ninth question is that what do you want to, to do after you finish your course or what is your plan after you finish your course so this is a major question and you you all have to say that you will return your country whatever country you, you are belong from so in my case i say that numerous opportunities are available for bachelor of business major in information system management in india because this with the growth of business this degree is in high demand therefore i will return to my country india after i finish my studies and the last question which they ask from me is that uh, how will you pay your fees and living cost while you are studying so as i show my money in my parent saving account so i simply say with my parent saving i will pay my fees and living cost and whatever in your case you have to explain like that one more question which is asked from my friend not from me uh, it was why do uh, why you not choose your home country which is also a major question they ask from us you can say that mainly two reasons which discourage me to study in my home country number 1 90% of the education is theoretical with the rigid scope of practical research and learning on the part of students number 2 there is no space for creative thinking and learning students are always bound to a specific syllabus which is set by the university so this is mainly the questions which they ask ask you from in their gd interview at last i want to say thank you for watching and like subscribe and share my channel with your friends so they will also take a advantage from this video